ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Meta, Amazon, and Microsoft's attempt to take down Google Maps. Now, let's get into it. A defunct British built satellite is to be crashed deliberately into the Atlantic Ocean today. The European Space Agency weather monitoring satellite Aeolus has completed a transformative mission to map the planet's winds. Now, this will be the first time a space agency has attempted such a re entry for one of its dead satellites. Most of it will burn up as it tears through the atmosphere, but as with other re entering probes, about 20% of the mass is expected to survive. The move reduces the already extremely low risk of debris striking people or property and is intended to gather data for future satellite re entries. If successful, the hope is that other spacefaring nations and organizations will also follow suit. Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, and TomTom are teaming up for what looks like an attempt to take down Google Maps. Overture Maps has just released its first set of map data. This includes information on more than 59 million places across the world, from restaurants to famous sites and the footprints of more than 780 million buildings. The Overture Maps Foundation is an open initiative, making it a compelling alternative to Google Maps for app and software makers. Google Maps takes a closed approach, giving Google greater control over how its map data is used and implemented. It also charges app developers for access to Google Maps based on how many times the app's users call on mapping info. Passenger trains are being powered by vegetable oil in a UK first. So Chilton Railways is introducing new vegetable oil into its uh, trains, into the Class 68 locomotives to operate our services between London and Starbridge. From this week, all of these types of trains will be fueled by hydro-treated vegetable oil. That's Chilton Managing Director Richard Allen. Hydro-treated vegetable oil is made almost entirely from used cooking oils and can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 90%. The fuel is a direct replacement for diesel, meaning there is no need to adapt the internal engines of the locomotives, although it is more expensive. Nicky Aiken, Tory MP for the cities of London and Westminster, was there for the unveiling of the trains at Marlebone Station. Well, we have the Glamford Estate just here, literally on the uh, on the railway line, and we have the Four Feathers Youth Club, and their playground also comes right up to the railway line. So these diesel trains not only cause massive pollution, but also noise, and I have known real issues. People's bedrooms are literally yards away from these trains. So to have this new type of train running on vegetable oil is a game changer. Aiken hopes that the move will inspire other train operators to look for more alternatives to diesel. It looks like Twitter will soon only have dark mode, saying goodbye to its iconic white and blue colours. In a post on the platform, which is now called X, Elon Musk said soon X will only have dark mode, and it's better in every way. This expected change comes as the multi-billionaire's plan to build X into an everything app gets underway. The tech giant says it plans on making X the future state of unlimited interactivity, centered in audio, video and messaging, as well as payments and banking. There's more fallout from the MOD typo mishap. The Ministry of Defence has now launched an investigation over the emails containing classified information that were accidentally sent to a close ally of Russia. The emails were intended for the US military, which uses the domain name .mil, but were sent instead to the West African nation of Mali, whose email domain is .ml. Defence officials said the emails did not contain information that could compromise operational security. Next. A study has found cars connected to the internet can be used to predict where crashes might happen on roads. Research for the RAC Foundation said that data generated about manoeuvres, such as harsh braking, can be used to locate dangerous stretches of road before an accident occurs. This would allow highway engineers to consider potential issues such as speed limits, hidden junctions, queuing traffic or damaged road surfaces. The study was produced by White Willow Consulting, who warned that the opportunity to benefit from this information risks being missed unless the issue of who pays for the data is addressed. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Netflix AI job advert backlash and an ancient Roman emperor's theatre is unearthed under a Four Seasons hotel. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. 
Netflix is getting backlash from striking Hollywood actors and writers after posting a job advert for an artificial intelligence expert. The new $900,000 a year position would join its machine learning platform team, which drives the Netflix algorithm helping viewers pick new programs to watch. The job listing is one of several listed on the Netflix job page that calls for applicants with experience in the technology as well as machine learning. Hollywood unions are currently striking over concerns about how AI affects the entertainment industry and pay. A study has uncovered what naps can tell us about young children's brain development. Research from the University of East Anglia suggests babies and toddlers who nap a lot may have smaller vocabularies and poorer memory and thinking skills. It also showed that some children are better at consolidating information during sleep, so they nap less frequently. However, the findings suggest that reducing naps for these children will not improve brain development, and that they should be allowed to nap as frequently and for as long as they need. And finally... The ruins of Emperor Nero's lost theatre have finally been found under the site of a hotel in Rome. Named after Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, who served as Roman Emperor from AD 54 to his death in 68, the Imperial Theatre was likely where Nero rehearsed poetry and put on musical performances. The discovery, which is being described as exceptional, was unearthed under the garden of a future Four Seasons hotel, just steps away from the Vatican. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.